Hi, Caleb and Steve here, back with another edition of Smithbusters. Steve, what do we have today? Today we've got a real old one. It's been around as long as the M16 and AR-15 have been around. And that is, there's something wrong with my rifle because it's denting the primer of an unfired cartridge. Something's got to be wrong with it. Well, yeah. You, the firing pin's not supposed to hit the, the primer until you're ready. Yeah, I mean, it could just go off. You would think. And yet, it doesn't. Um, you want to tell them the story or should I? Well, so, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just, you know, basically kind of jump into it here. So, the, the way the firing pin sits in the bolt carrier group on the AR-15 or M16 style platform, it's a floating firing pin. So, the firing pin basically just floats in there. It's moving back and forth freely. So whenever this bolt slams shut and closes, that firing pin, the inertia, it comes forward just a little bit and bumps the primer with not nearly enough force, not, not even close to set it off, which is perfectly normal and perfectly fine. And that's any, fi any firearm with a floating firing pin design does the same thing. So whenever you hear floating firing pin design, that does not mean it's going to float when you throw it in water. It means just that. Oh, that good. It's, it's, it's moving freely inside the bolts. Right. It was designed to work that way, and it's worked that way for 50, 60 years. Yeah, and there was a, a myth behind this kind of with the, the SKS, too. It, yeah. It had some, some yeah. issues as well. And that one even went so far as to have the bolts redesigned to have a, um, a firing pin spring put in them in right. some cases. That's correct. And uh, I know some guys, if they want to use a real sensitive primer, they'll go with like a titanium firing pin or something that has even less momentum mm -hmm. when the bolt slams forward. But with normal primers, if, whether you're hand loading or buying ammo off the shelf, you don't have to worry. The firing pin does not have enough mass to set it off just from the bolt closing. So Steve, for the sake of science and smith busting, I have a primed unloaded case here. Yeah. Brand new, fresh primer. Okay. And I have my very own personal AR-15. What are you gonna do? We're gonna do some smith busting, Steve. Oh, do we have to? Safety first. Listen, this isn't for us, this is for them. Very well. Okay. Ready when you are. All right, so what we're gonna do here, we're gonna lock our bolts open. We're just gonna drop it in. And notice, there is no dents on said primer. All right, we'll go ahead and drop her in the chamber. And I'm gonna drop it in there manually since there's no bullet on it. It's All not, right, you not say you're gonna drop it in there, is it in there? You know, I'm kind of working on that. There's no bullet on it, so it's not gonna, you know, feed as oh. a normal cartridge would feed. There we go. There we go. All right, would you like to, to do the honors of said countdown here? Okay, three, two, one. Were you, is it on one or go? I, I wasn't ready. Yeah, so let's, let's do, do it on go. Three, okay. three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Is it over? It's over, you survived. No injuries. Uh-oh. You know, there's a small indentation. What? On that primer. Very small. And we all survived. Myth busted. Myth busted. Everything's perfectly normal. It yeah. is as it should be. If you find dents in your uh, live rounds that you've taken out of the chamber, you're still okay. So, if you have a question or comment for us, leave it below. We want to hear from you. Smash that like button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time with another edition of Smithbusters.